Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to help you resolve if your wallpaper is turning black after logging in on your second monitor. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd recommend doing would be to open up the search menu. Type in settings, best result, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select personalization on the left side here. And then I would select a different theme on the right side here. So select a different theme that is included on Windows. And then you are welcome to try changing it back to the previous theme or wallpaper once you're done doing that. And see if that is able to kind of, you know, help work around it or get it out of a stuck position, perhaps, if you want to call it like that. I mean, that's a, one way to phrase it. Something else you might want to look into here as well, if you're using a high contrast mode, you may want to turn that off. So in order to do that, close out of here open up the search menu and type in contrast themes. You can also get to it by going underneath accessibility on the left side of the settings window. And if you currently have a contrast theme turned on, you may want to try switching it to a different one or just turning it off altogether by selecting none. So pretty straightforward process on that guys to look at. So just go ahead and apply that. And then one final thing you might want to look into here as well so if you were to just close out of the settings window and open up the search menu, type in control panel, best match, or come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. So we're view by in the top right by large icons. And then you will go down to power options, left click on that. You may want to consider changing your power plan in here. So if you're using balance, maybe you want to switch it to high performance. Or if you're using high performance, maybe switch it to balance power plan. And that's just something else to take a look at as well. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.